Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, the age long question Ronaldo, Messi, Messi, Ronaldo. He needs a wash, mate. I'm gonna tell you why I favor Ronaldo more than Messi. Now, before you guys start bombarding me with your football statistics, I'm gonna tell you right now I'm not just basing it upon football. I'm also basing it upon their personality and their persona outside of football as well, yeah? Reason number one why I think Ronaldo is better. Well, Ronaldo doesn't have any tattoos mate. Yeah, that's right, if you look at the other footballers, they're covered in tattoos. Now what's the reason Ronaldo doesn't have tattoos? Well, it's so that he can donate his blood. Exactly, a very noble cause which you will not see from many footballers. In fact, he's the only one I can think of. And he's also known to donate his bone marrow. Mate, I didn't even think you could donate bone marrow, but there you go. Number two, guys, he doesn't drink alcohol. Now, he's not a Muslim, he's a Christian. He practices his faith and it's very central to him in his life. Well, the reason is because his father died of alcoholism. That is one of the reasons Ronaldo does not drink alcohol because he doesn't want to follow his father's footsteps. And also he promotes a healthy lifestyle and he's very focused on winning. And that's why he knows that alcohol gets in the way of that. Number three, he is a very good father to his own kids. Yeah, especially Cristiano Jr. You'll see that Ronaldo keeps his son with him at most times. This is because he wasn't very close to his own father, so he wanted to give that love to his kids that he couldn't get when he was young. That's amazing. Whew. Number four, he has a very good relationship with his mother. A little known fact that his mother admitted that she was gonna abort him, reason being because the family was so poor and they couldn't handle another kid. But she didn't and eventually Ronaldo was the fruit of her wise choice. And also his mum got cancer. So after she got treated, he donated 105,000 pounds to the hospital. And number five, he's a very very generous bloke. In fact in 2015 he was labelled the most generous of athletes and he attributes this to his father's teaching that charity doesn't diminish rather it doubles your wealth. This is a principle which is very similar to that of Islam. Number six, the three words that are written on his shoes. A lot of people don't know this, but written on his shoes are dream of a child. Ronaldo has had the same four words printed on his shoes throughout his entire career in touching tribute to his childhood. Real Madrid superstar has always had El Sueno del Nino on his footwear and reads them before each and every game to remind him of what he was and where he's come. I think this point is amazing. This principle of remembering where a person has come so they can value where they are is remarkable because a lot of people do forget where they were and sadly they just get stuck in the rat race and because of that they do not value and are not grateful for what they have. And last but not least is Ronaldo's bravery in standing up for causes that other celebrities deem to be very risky for their career. For example, Ronaldo has been known to donate his golden boot to Gaza, he's been known to support the Syrian crisis. This is for children of Syria. We know that you have been suffering a lot. I am a very famous player, but you are the true heroes. Don't lose your hope. The world is with you, we care about you, I am with you. Also to such a degree that there was this kid who was tripped over by this journalist and not only did Ronaldo invite them over, what he did was he came out in a football game with that kid, which is amazing. Yeah, he didn't have to do that, but he did. 
and also most recently his support for the Rohingya crisis as well because I haven't heard of many prominent celebrities talk about this in fact many even you know prominent journalists avoid this topic as well in fact you know what when it comes to Muslim suffering a lot of people just sideline that and to see a celebrity that is risking their career and is putting the principle of humanity first you know is amazing and a breath of fresh air and I know guys I've only scratched the surface of what this guy has actually done there's many other things but sadly I couldn't find uh, authentic sources that I could reference I didn't just want to put random information out there I wanted to make sure that it was referenced don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until next time Asalaamu As Alaikum